Have you been thinking about adding gamification to your marketing or to your online courses, but you're not quite sure how complicated it's gonna to be to set up or if it's just an annoying trend that's gonna go away soon? Well, if you don't know yet, gamification is when you add game theory or essentially elements of playing games, whether they're video games or in-person games into an online platform. So it could be an online course, a membership, or any other type of marketing that you're doing. And what are the benefits of gamification? Gamification, well, gamification can help people engage longer. We all know that people purchase online courses, maybe they log in once or twice, and then they kind of never come back and it collects dust. Gamification makes online learning way more fun because let's face it, sometimes we're stuck in front of a screen for way too long, and depending on what kind of content you're creating, you could be teaching to corporations or other people who might not be as motivated on your online courses. So adding gamification can keep people engaged, make them have fun while they're learning and also increase retention when they're learning. So this is key because you want people to be able to recall what they learned and to be able to apply it in real life. So that's why gamification is a great thing to consider adding to your online courses. So now we're gonna take a look at some examples of gamification because it's a lot easier to look at specifics than to talk about general stuff. I'm Natalie Lucier, and you're watching the Access LA channel where we talk about ways to use technology to scale your business by cutting through the noise and focusing on what works. So let's take a look at some examples of gamification. So the first one that is super popular is giving people points. So maybe you've participated in a game or a video game where you earn points as you go along. Now points could be something like stars, coins, we've also given away hearts. However you brand your point system is really important and it has to tie into the general concept of what it is that you're selling. Now beyond that, people love you know gaining points and feeling like, oh, they're getting ahead, but you also wanna tie your points into something. So a lot of online learning systems right now will allow you to give points to people as they finish courses or lessons or quizzes, and that's awesome. But without tying in the points into some sort of reward system, it's kinda just, frosting on top of a cake, but without the actual substance. So one way that Access Ally, which is our online learning platform for WordPress, does this is to allow you to unlock additional content and bonuses by points. So essentially what we're creating is not just a way to give people points, but a way for people to redeem their points too. And the difference here is that if somebody earns all these points, they could use them to maybe get a coaching session or purchase something that's actually a physical item, or maybe unlock bonus content inside of your members area that has to have a certain level of points to unlock. So number two is leaderboards. So leaderboards is essentially when you get people to compete against each other, and you can do leaderboards in a number of different ways. You can do them where people are earning badges, so they could compare their badges to other people's badges. You could do it where people are earning points again, so this would be another way to tie points and gamification into something useful. So people can see, okay, I have 50 points and the next person above me has 60. How can I compete against them and maybe get more points myself. So there are so many different ways to use leaderboards and what you'll want to think about is how this ties into the benefit for the user or the student. So if they are people who know each other, maybe they're in the same organization or the same group, then that's great. They probably already have a little competition going. And if it's for an online course where people don't know each other, then give them that option to get to know each other in that member directory or that leaderboard. So if somebody sees, hey, who's this person above me or who's you know next to me in my cohort, they can click through to their bio and find out more about that person too. Up next, we have storytelling and choose your own adventures. So there are so many ways to make online learning into more of a story as opposed to just videos people have to consume or quizzes people have to take. So here, what you can do is you can use a quiz, but instead of just having it a pass fail where people know the answer or don't, you use how people answer to guide them to the right next place for them. So for example, if you have beginners, intermediate and advanced students, you could basically get them to the right spot inside of your online course. So they're not gonna be bored with the beginner 101 stuff if they're more advanced and they won't be missing anything if they are more beginner and they need that background information first. So using this kind of choose your own adventure is a great way to gamify and also personalize the learning experience. 
But beyond that, you could create all kinds of things like an escape room. You could really make it fun and have that adventure in the choose your own adventure style built into your members area. And what that does is it keeps people engaged. It gets them curious about what's behind door number one, what's behind door number two. And it really gets them to complete your courses, get the value that they wanted while having fun and finding your storytelling style exciting. Next, we have unlocking bonuses. So just like that curiosity factor, just like tying points into things you can redeem, sometimes what you wanna do is after somebody completes something, you give them a bonus. Maybe it's a bonus download, maybe it's a bonus video or a bonus of another kind that really makes them feel special and like they achieved something because all of us are trying to feel that sense of accomplishment and that sense that we're doing something, we're moving forward, we're progressing, and all of that can happen when we get a nice little bonus inside of a members area. The other gamification piece is the buddy system or accountability. So a lot of times when you're playing games, you can team up with someone else and it's a lot more fun to play a game on a team. So when it comes to online learning and LMS systems and gamification, think about how you can add a buddy system. Whether you manually pair people up yourself or you have a system that just groups people into different smaller accountability groups. It's a great way to go. It's a lot less work for you because you don't have to individually coach each person going through your courses, but it gives people a chance to really connect with other people who are going through the same content as them while feeling that camaraderie and that feeling of working together. Gamification can be as simple as progress tracking and thinking about how people will feel throughout the journey of your online course or your membership. So maybe at the very beginning when somebody first logs in, you give them a progress bar and you show them how far along they already are. A lot of companies do this. So for example, LinkedIn, when you first sign up for their software, you will be asked to fill out your profile, but usually you've already put in your name and your email. So you're already ahead. You're not starting from zero on their progress bar. And that really motivates people to complete their profile and really get to 100%. So think about how you can track people's progress inside of your online courses and think about how you can do this for your business so that people really experience that forward momentum and they get to that finish line. Another great way to gamify is through quizzes. So we've already talked about quizzes to have people choose their own adventure, but there's also ways to use quizzes, for example, like Buzzfeed does, and to tell people a little bit more about themselves, about their personalities, and how they're doing. So if you're, for example, going through a quest and it's time to take a quiz and you have to guess, you know, what is happening in this situation based on what I've learned so far, you're going to have a really great experience. You'll find it interesting. And maybe you can have characters who are asking these questions in the quiz. So you really feel like, yes, I am part of this game. I'm learning and I'm moving forward. So there's a great example of an Access Ally client who has a quiz that helps you decide which kind of an empath you are, whether you think you're an empath or not. And it's a great, great way to add gamification and also to get people to learn a little bit more about themselves too. Another very popular gamification method is to give people badges. There's also certificates. So with gamification, you can reward people after they've finished a whole course or after they've finished a module with a badge or with a certificate. And it's great if you have a certification program, but even if you don't, you can use certificates in a fun way so people feel like, yeah, I really did something here. This is awesome. And they can either print them out or save them or share them with their friends and family. Another thing with games is sometimes there is time pressure. So you can use countdown timers to get people excited to get them to finish something within a certain time frame or to even give them bonuses or other incentives on a timer. So countdown timers are a great way to add that urgency and that ooh excitement, we're in this together and it is happening now. So if you enjoyed these gamification examples, you'll wanna head over to accessally.com to find out more about how this software works and how it can help you add gamification to your online courses and your membership site so that you can have your students experience that way more fun gamification experience. And if you want more tips on online learning, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up because we've got more great videos coming at you every single week. Mm -hmm.